I look back and especially the group that graduated, uh, you know, it's not uncommon. We, we travel everywhere, you know, it's uh, in the last two years, it's been, you know, Arkansas, A&M, South Carolina, West Virginia, Duke, Auburn, Ole Miss, Florida. So I'm really proud of a school and a program like ours that can uh, travel the country and play that level of competition and get a, get a lot of results. You know, obviously today didn't go the way we expected, but really proud of the way we played. Thought we controlled a lot of it. Um, but you can see on our players and the reaction of our team, you know, when the whistle blew is true emotion, raw emotion of we were expected to win. Our kids truly believe that. I believe that. And you, as a coach, you can't ask for more. Uh, good. You know, uh, the start is always important to us. We, we've had, um, you know, we've had games where we, we've given up goals early. So, you know, it's been a focus, especially last weekend, you know, we had an own goal a minute into the game. We're able to fight back. Really liked the way we played. Uh, loved, you know, the quickness of it, the attacking of it. I think we we're, you know, we had control most of the play, outshot, more chances. Browning had to make one big save. Their keeper made two unbelievable saves. You know, so as a coach, felt really good because we're in it. And, uh, you know, wasn't one of those things where we kind of, you know, you, the mentality or the nerves of, you know, getting caught with a big giant going, oh, it's Duke, and, and it, you know, kind of deer in headlights, which in the process of building this, you know, all, was the beginning. You know, four years ago, those were kind of the situations that did us in. So really happy with the start and the way we played and the, the adjustments we made at half. You know, honestly, the first 12, 14 minutes of the second half was probably even better in the first half. Um, they were solid. Uh, they knew how we played. They were very organized, knew when to drop off, knew when to step on us. Um, they just played a really good game. They were able to, to keep tabs on me and, and shut me down this game. So um, they just played played a really good game. I mean, like Jim said, we we uh, we believed that we could come out here and get a win. We weren't intimidated by the name or um, anything like that. Um, uh, we. We came out with the mentality of that, and um, I believe it showed in the first half especially. Um, I was proud of us. I thought we kept the ball. I thought we kept composure and had some real chances. Um, I mean, second half as well. I mean, they're, they are a great team, and they finished when they had to, so uh, credit to them. But um, I couldn't be prouder of our team, honestly, and especially not only today, just the season that we had. But... Um, we're not scared of the big names. I mean, I think we're getting to be one of them now. And I truly, with my whole heart, believe that. So that's my takeaway from today. At Senior Night, I talked about not really feeling like a coach, feeling more like a father. You know, this is a group that has absolutely helped me grow as a coach and a friend. The, the effort and the energy they put into our program and ultimately building us into a power. You know, we. we we're now, like I said earlier, we're a program that will travel anywhere and play anybody, and we're expected. We expect our, to get these results. You know, these kids. It's amazing the growth of them. You know, looking at Allie and Caitlin and Emma and uh, Brownie and Shay, just the level that they've grown as not only players but as as people. You know, they're they're incredible leaders. They have such high expectation expectation for themselves and the program, and they really do a phenomenal job of driving our younger people and being the example of what can happen if you, you, know, if you work hard at these kind of things.